Hello and welcome back to my round four match in GP Caracas, this time against Anna the Quiet. So Anna is on uh, a villainy deck. I think it's Esper villainy. Yeah, Esper villainy. And I roll a 20. Nice. So I get to go first. And uh, as always, I'm on rejuvenation list rejuvenation. Uh, so that's not a keepable hand. I'm going long in that. This hand, uh, a bit slow, but maybe it gets there. I'm going to keep this because, uh, yeah, it's, hopefully I don't get hit with a bunch of discard spells. And let's see, do I... I guess I probably bombed the Mysterious Cataract. So let's... What discard spells does Anna even run? Oh, they have two Soft Blossoms in the main board. And Mentamori, so they can hit my graveyard. Uh, so not the best matchup for me. And, well, at least they don't have Veldez. I think the game's mostly going to come down to whether uh, Anna manages to counter all of my... Uh, ramp spells or discard all my ramp spells and okay they're going for turn one uh, duress so there goes uh untouch files probably at least i still have recall forgotten aeons on turn three yeah they're taking untouch wilds okay my turn um i draw a land so n not exactly what i want but i would i would much prefer a logger recluse here just to ramp up or only Anything else? So I guess I can play. Well, no. In case I draw another Untouched Wilds, I want my fetch land in the yard. So I'll play Shifting Grove here and pass. Anna plays a tapped Fear and Desolation. Okay, that's good. That means they don't have a uh, Thought Blossom coming up. I think. Well, do I fetch here? Yeah, sure. I'll fetch now. And let's see. I'll get um, Lush Oasis. Well, is it Lush? Yeah. Lush Oasis, and then I'll fetch, uh, sack this thing for Forest Plains. I didn't draw into Untouched Wilds turn 3, unfortunately, but I still get to play uh, Recall Forgotten Aeons uncontested. And do I... I'll just play the Forest. Recall Forgotten Aeons, draw two cards. Oh, I, can get, I can get down Off-World Surveyors, so I want to keep it to discard. And what discard does Anna run? Uh, okay, don't th I don't think they run any targeted discard, so yeah, I can just run out off-world surveyors. So then, uh, I guess I'll wait for a shrine, fetch, or a basic, and off-world surveyors, and pass. The next turn, I can flawless world, I guess, and off-world surveyors will, uh, yeah. let me play out down two lands that turn. Oh, it seems like Anna is stuck on two lands. Okay, that's quite good for me. Or, no, they're not. They're, okay, are they going to kill off-road surveyors? Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Because off-road surveyors wasn't doing that much for me at this point. And they also don't have Thought Blossom up. Oh, there we go, Untouched Wilds. Wonderful. So that's probably what I'm casting. I get back four lands. But what am I worried about if I untouch Wilds? Actually, I'm worried about Discard Spell plus Memento Mori. Otherwise, I'm basically just fine. So yeah, I'm going to... Fetch out, um, well, it doesn't really matter what I fetch out. I can fetch out Harvey Glade, I guess. And then Untouched Wilds, being back four lands, which is extremely good for me. And then I pass. So, next turn, even if Anna hits me with a discard spell, I still have Recall for on Aeons in the graveyard. The only, only way that Anna can really screw me over is if they hit me with a discard spell plus Mem Memto Mori. And they're going to play uh, Liliana at the brink, which is completely fine because uh, because Liliana is just a, a value planeswalker. And value isn't very good against someone that has this many lands plus stuff to do with them. Okay, so let's see. I sack for fourth planes. And tap. Upkeep, I'll sack all these guys. So that gets me a f island and then gifting and resplendent. So I have one more fetchable left in deck, I think. And let me just stack all these guys. So I'm at 9 mana. I top deck Conjure Realities. So that's quite a good card. Looking at Anna's deck, they have no main deck ways of uh, dealing with Children of the Clouds. I think, right? Uh, yeah, they don't have any way of dealing with Children of the Clouds main deck. So I can Conjure Realities, get Realms Overturning, uh, Realms Overturning, and Bound Realms Overturning, and then Children's for a, a crap ton. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do here. One, two, Andre Realities, Realms Overturning, Bound It, and then 
birds for 14. Unfortunately, since uh, tokens don't, since the promo version of the card doesn't have the tokens linked to it, I'm going to have to do this manually. And yeah, good enough. And actually, I'll just no. I, okay, seems like Anna is just going to concede because they're not going to win now that I have 14 birds in play. We're going to game two and look at sideboarding. So they're going to bring in more thought blossoms and seal the tomb and spell. You can actually they they're just going to bring in their entire sideboard. Yeah, so now I need to deal with some stuff that can stop birds. And looking at what I have, I don't actually have that much. So I'm bringing in Forbidden Treasure and End of All Things to deal with Benelny and probably End of Days because they do have a board. Do I side out to combo? Uh, I might do that. Okay, anyways, the first file cut off world surveyors because they get killed and they, I also, uh, this is a slow matchup. I want my cards to be impactful. Then do I cut Fulfilled Twisted Dreams and Realms Overturning? Huh. Well, I, mm -hmm. well, they can disrupt the combo much more easily. So maybe I just maybe I cut them. This doesn't feel that good, but I guess I'll run it back. So this hand's unkeepable. This hand's pretty good. Or no, it's not that good because it doesn't have turn one log or recluse. But I'm keeping it anyways. What do I bottom here? I might bottom Flawless World because I care a lot about getting out in the flans. But if, if I bottom Flawless World and then my opponent the rest is my recall for Octane Aeons, what do I do? Or maybe Lager Recluse is the thing I bottom because I'm gonna go turn to Forbidden Treasure. Well, uh, eh, uh, well this, is, this feels dangerous, but I guess I'll do that. Hopefully I don't get discarded and then draw nothing else for the remaining few turns. Oh, okay. oh, never mind. I I actually do draw green source on turn one. So I probably so in hindsight I could have bought him one of the shifting lands, but this is results oriented thinking. I might have not top decked of green source. So yeah, log a recluse put in shifting cascade tapped, and I'll actually no. This does matter when I sack it because my opponent has memento mori. So I'll sack it end of turn. They're going to kill a Lago Recluse, which I'm more than happy with because Lago Recluse has already done its job of ramping me. And okay, the Forest Island. And I draw Children of the Clouds. Uh, not a bad draw. So I get to recall Fire Out Aeons, and my opponent doesn't have any counter spells up, so that resolves. And Untouched Wilds. Okay, I can Untouch Wilds next turn if I want to. Uh, I'll play out Fifteen Grover. I guess it doesn't really matter, but it might. I guess I care about blue more than white right now. So my oh, my opponent has sealed the tomb, right? Is that what they're going for? Okay, the end of turn seal the tomb, the recall forgotten aeons. Uh, that's not very good for me, but at least it wasn't. At least they didn't seal children to clouds. But it could have been. So it could have been worse, but still not very good for me. Well, at least they know that untouched wilds. Plus Children of Clouds is coming up. So they can they can discard me next turn and I'll have to and I won't be able to forbid and treasure it. Okay, so they can discard me next turn and then uh I'll I'll be in trouble because if they discard Children of the Clouds then I have nothing to do with my mana. If they discard Untouched Wilds then um I don't have that much mana. But they play Liliana instead, which I'm perfectly fine with because again it's a mid range value based planeswalker which doesn't answer any of my or any of the things I do. So forest plains, forest islands, and on my turn I, I'll just untouch wilds and get back an insane number of five lands. Okay. So actually I have two options here. I can either untouch wilds, make a uh, get back a crap crap ton of lands, and then children of the clouds next turn, or I can uh pass the turn, hold up children of the clouds in case my opponent has a discard spell. Well, they didn't play this card spell last turn, right? So they probably don't have one because Liniana is kind of just the worst thing to play right now because it doesn't really do much. Yeah, I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just do Untouched Wilds play because, oh yeah, and, and I get to hold up Forbidden Treasures if I do that. So yeah, I'll do that. Touch Wilds, back for Forest Plains, and then get back five lands. I need to remind myself to sack all of these guys end of turn. 
Uh, not attacking them now because my opponent might have an Mori. And is my opponent just playing down villainy? Okay, yeah, they are. It seems like my opponent doesn't have any discard spells either. Or they do, but they know that I've forbidden treasure in hand. Well, I'm per but I'm perfectly fine with what, what my opponent's doing. They do get to draw a bunch of cards though. Oh well, they, they get to draw off villainy. And they might have sealed the tomb up. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm slightly worried about if they seal the tomb, my children the clouds. But anyways, I'll start making my 15 lands. Okay, and then upkeep, I'll crack my fetch land. And I guess grab... Oh, I don't have two basics yet. I guess I'll grab Lush Oasis. Okay, okay draw another land. So it seems like I'll just go for end of turn children of the clouds for a bunch. And see how my opponent reacts to that. And I'll play Wayfarer Shrine to get basics out of my deck because I want to fetch my lands before I draw them. Now also, notably enough, uh, my opponent still doesn't have blue mana yet. So I guess they might be color screwed and they're still and they're holding up Thought Blossoms, but they can't cast it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I'm slightly worried about Liliana ultimating. Uh, no rest. Uh, what does that do for them? Using no rest to ramp? Sure, I'm perfectly fine with that. And they're tapped out now, so... Oh, ah. Right, now they blew mana up, so... I should have thought about that. That means I have spell... They, they might have spell pierce, so I'll need to... Trojans for slightly less. Oh, I'm still fine with that. That's still a ton of children. Or a ton of birds from children. So let's see. Trojans for 8, I guess. They're going to sack Mysterious Cataract. Okay. Are they going to spell pierce it? Oh, okay, sure. I'll just pay for it then. Oh. If double spell pierce? I didn't. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that, that, that's quite... The, wait a minute. Light motif doesn't... Yeah, spell pierce doesn't trigger no rats light motif. Okay, we've resolved the judge call. And so, going to re rewind the, the fetching and casting of spell pierce. Is, is Anna just going to concede here? Okay, it seems like Anna is just conceding. I, I guess they kind of, they figured that they wouldn't be able to beat Burden of the Clouds. They probably didn't have anything good in hand. Well, it's, I feel like that might be a bit premature because so I resolve Children of the Clouds, make 8 birds. Well, I, I guess if Anna doesn't have Violent Claps in hand, they just straight up lose. Well, next turn I would have just played, uh, I would have attacked uh, 4 birds at Liliana and 4 birds at face. I passed her turn holding up Forbidden Treasure. If my opponent does manage to answer the birds, then it's not like I really have anything. I guess it was, well no, I had Forbidden Treasure, so it was... It was Violent Collapse or Bust, except I had Forbidden Treasure to co uh, counter the Violent Collapse, so they would have to cast a bunch of black spells with Bologna to kill the birds. Yeah, I guess that was a, not a good game for them.